Hi guys, no intro in this video. This is just a follow up to the video that I made about CGM and hair fall. So in my video about CGM and hair fall, I spoke about switching to a milder shampoo if you're having hair fall. But I got a lot of questions in the comment section and I realized that I was repeating the same information over and over again. So I thought, let me just jump on camera and make a video so that you guys see this and you guys are aware. Now, what did I mean when I said that you should switch to a milder shampoo? When you're using a shampoo that is CG friendly or CG approved, what the company is doing is they are substituting the sulfate, which is the cleansing agent in your shampoo and using a surfactant in its place. Now, it is very, very possible that you could be allergic to the surfactant that is used in your shampoo. Now, look. When it comes to sulfates, sulfates have been used in shampoos traditionally over the decades. There's a lot of research that goes behind sulfates, but surfactants are relatively new. So the use of surfactants in shampoos is a relatively new process since CGM is also relatively new. I mean, it's been around for the last decade so it's not like it's been around for many 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 decades so obviously the research behind using surfactants as cleansing agents in your shampoo is relatively new but also guys there is a bit of a shift in the natural hair curly hair wavy hair community since some of the biggest influencers use silicone sulfates parabens etc fragrance and their hair is not altered they also use alcohols and their hair is not altered a lot of curly girls are now starting to use sulfates and silicones and parabens again and they're saying that there's nothing wrong with it because the biggest influencers are not doing CGM yet their curls look so good so why should it be such an issue for me why should I omit these ingredients when there's nothing wrong with using them we see this kind of thing in the skincare community a lot too. If you remember a few years ago, essential oils were glorified and now essential oils are like the devil. So people are like, Kiss. okay, when it comes to essential oils, maybe 10 years ago, DIYs, DIYs for skincare was really, really popular. Nowadays, DIYs are put down because of molecular size and stuff. So there's always a change. There's always a shift that happens in different communities, especially when it comes to YouTube. Um, a decade ago, if you had oily skin, then people would tell you, do not use a heavy moisturizer, do not use an oil, oily skin does not need an oil, etc. But nowadays, there's been like a shift in the community. They talk about trans epidermal water loss. They talk about the fact that oily skin is probably because your skin is dehydrated and that's your skin's natural defense towards not losing too much water from the skin and that is why your skin produces excess oil your sebaceous glands produce excess oil so yeah whenever it comes to these things there's always going to be new information there's always going to be a shift when it comes to uh, the thought process in different communities on youtube so yeah take it with a grain of salt if at all you feel like CG products are really expensive and you don't want to waste too much money and change your shampoo, then you can always just use products that are not CG friendly. I mean, just because you have curly hair doesn't mean you have to follow CG strictly to the T. As you know, I also follow a modified version of CG, which means that I don't use sulfates, I don't use silicones but I'm okay with using alcohol only when it comes to my gel because my hair really needs it. So yep, when it comes to all of this, make sure that you're taking things with a grain of salt. Nothing is absolute. Just because we believe something today doesn't mean tomorrow our ideas won't change. There's always a change and a shift that keeps happening. So yeah. Since the curly girl method has not been around for such a long time compared to traditional shampoos, it is quite possible that you could be allergic to the surfactant that is being used in your shampoo. If that is the case, I would say switch immediately. If you feel like there's no underlying health conditions, you don't have thyroid, you don't have PCOS, you don't have stress, there are no genetic hereditary factors that are coming into play when it comes to hair loss and you still feel like, okay, I started CGM and suddenly my hair fall has become really, really crazy. It has never been this bad for me. 
then I would say that consider that you might have a rare allergy and so the surfactant in your shampoo is not agreeing with you. In that case, please switch immediately. If you feel like you've switched, it's been a few months but your hair fall has not gotten better, please go to a dermatologist. I keep saying this video after video. We on YouTube, we don't have medical degrees. We are not dermatologists. Somebody called me doctor the other day in my DMs. I'm not a doctor. I was a practicing consultant clinical psychologist, but I'm not a doctor, okay? I don't have a medical degree. So please go to your dermatologist, go to an endocrinologist, get some blood tests done because listen, this is your hair, this is your precious hair. I don't want anything happening. It would be really, really bad if you've started CGM and you're thinking about taking care of your hair and you're using something that is not agreeing with you. So I would say firstly, change your shampoo, switch to a milder one, look at the ingredient list, see that the surfactant is not being repeated in the shampoo that you're choosing to buy. If you still feel like it's been a while, you switched your shampoo and things are not getting better, then I would say just stop. Take a break from CGM, take a step back, go to a dermatologist and then see if things get better. Don't take these things lightly. We want your hair improving and getting better and not getting worse. Alright, that's all I had to say. Thanks so much for watching.